Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and I'm here with Mo Pitney again. We love you. <laughs> oh, we just thank we you. absolutely thank adore you. you. We're at CMA Fest, and yeah. how, how are you feeling about being here? Oh, I'm just excited to get started. Uh, this is a second interview of the day, Ooh. and so uh, I'm excited to just kind of roll throughout the day. Got some autograph signings, and it's a pretty chill day. And then we play on on Friday, I think somewhere in the mid middle mm -hmm. of the day at the uh, Chevy stage. That's so. awesome. Are you, are you super excited to be here? About, yes. Yeah. yes. I mean, it's just something magical about CMA Fest, you know, it's the biggest country music festival pretty much around the world, but, yeah. you know, and uh, I just think everybody, just seeing everybody carrying around those guitars yeah. and, you know, hoping for that next signature, the meet and greets here are just insane. Yeah. It's just so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to meet meet people and uh, and sign and talk, and um, this is a cool way to do that. Yeah. So, and you have an amazing, amazing fan base. They are so wow. loyal to you. Wow. It is incredible. I'm, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna just get real right now because out of all of the interviews that we've done on video. Your video interview has gotten the most views in our entire magazine. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, yeah. Well, that's and I mean, cool. constantly, your fans are just, they want more of you. They wow. like want to see more, they want to hear more, and it just, it makes us super happy to see it too because, wow. you know, the, the growth that we've seen since you started has just been incredible. Wow. Well, thank you guys uh, very, very much. Um, I'll accept it. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I love making music and I love. Uh, at times, just sharing my heart and, and things that I go through in life, and uh, if that connects or helps or uh, excites other people, that's that's really a blessing. So. And your song "Everywhere," oh my gosh! Oh, <laughs> I love that. It's like Thank I, it gets stuck in my head all the time, and I'll Good. be like, you know, um, you know the Alexas and the Echo Dots and all those things that they have out now, where you can just like, what is it, the Amazon, the Amazon Dots, and the oh, I forget what. The, well, anyways, you can just tell them. You just tell them their name, oh, and then they like come on, and then you tell them to play music so I don't know if I know I have one I have one next to my shower oh, okay and so every once in a while I'm like I get your song stuck in my head I'm like Alexa wow. play Mo Pitney oh, wow. <laughs> it's fun but but I, I love that your music is so real oh, and relatable well, and you know you. you have important messages in your songs and your Merle Haggard song <laughs> we were just talking about it I, I absolutely love that song and the fact that you were so excited after that experience, yeah. and you went home and you just wrote a song about yeah. it. Yeah, well, that? he was he is a big influence of mine growing up, mm -hmm. and uh, just kind of in a lot of ways mesmerized by his ability to write and sing, and mm -hmm. and you know you, you grow up wanting to kind of be like that right? in some senses. Then you get to meet him, and it blows you away, right. you know. Yeah. So that's just the excitement came from that, and it was kind of tongue in cheek and and funny. It's not an earth shattering, world changing song, but no, it was but it was fun to write, and it was true from beginning mm -hmm. to end. So, and that's what I loved about it. But you caught so many, you know, emotions in in that song for me that fans really do go through. Yeah. And you know how many of us we have that encounter, and then we're like, damn it, where was our cell phone? Yeah. We didn't take a picture. Right, you know, nobody's right. gonna believe me. Or, right. You know, and you go through and you you wish you had those moments so that you can watch them over and over and over and right. you know. So the fact that you got to write a song about that, like for me, I was able to relate to it on a completely different level um, with with somebody else. But I've had a very similar experience, and it's like, well, damn it. Yeah. You know, I should have had mine too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But so so you you've had so many things happen since last time I talked to you mm -hmm. and. We just saw you at the Nashville Palace, and I got to see your little girl. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Evelyn. She is so cute. I know. Evelyn, what a pretty name. Yeah, too. Evelyn Nadine. Yes, is and you so. and you wrote a song. I did. We played it that night. You did, yeah. and you're right. Emily came up and yeah, sang. That was something. You guys, if you watched our last interview, Emily got to, you know, sit in with us and talk. Yep. And, and I love her. She's so cute. But she can sing, and Very she's just... Well. Yes, and you guys just all up there, and it was like a complete family affair. You had your brother up there, you had your sister up yeah. there. I mean, it was just so much fun. What's it like having your family on the road? Uh, well, it's very comforting in a lot mm -hmm. of ways. It, uh, it's been helping me kind of stay grounded in some mm -hmm. senses through the ups and downs of life, you know, staying close to Emily and and uh, my parents at this time actually come out with us too. Oh, nice. And my mom will do merch and my dad will do... Uh, uh, front of house at times, but my brother plays bass and he road manages, and my sister sings and plays and helps on the road with snacks and things on the bus, and just the whole the whole team has been very supportive and 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 helpful. And as we're learning this very, I mean, 
to travel and play music mm-hmm. is a different type of lifestyle and it can it psychologically is. kind of mess with you and uh, yeah. spiritually and things can happen they're just like whoa this world is shaky you know mm-hmm. and, uh, but it's it's been really good and and a healthy thing I think absolutely well and I think being aware of that yeah being aware that you know things are going to happen and you know there's going to be moments that are challenging and you know there's going to be moments that are great and super fun but there's Uh going to be moments that are challenging and if you're prepared for those things to happen I think knowing that they're going to come it it makes it a little Uh, bit easier to to deal with and get through and the fact that you have your family there is so special (laughs) because not everybody has that and yep Frankly, not everybody wants that. Oh, you know, yeah. I know not everybody yeah. has a great. There's close definitely family. a time in my life where I probably didn't want it, and uh, I think I'm recognizing mm-hmm. uh, my need for it. And God right. is showing me uh, kind of some of the pride that I had mm-hmm. in wanting to push away from mm-hmm. from my my family. But um, He's starting uh, His pr- His working hand and healing all, all right. of that, and in in really sometimes difficult but beautiful mm-hmm. ways. Absolutely. And isn't it amazing when you sit back and you think, wow, look at what God just did. Yeah. You know, and I call them God moments all the time because I have them, I have them all the time. And there are some times where I'm like, you can't possibly tell me that Amen. that was a coincidence. I know. That was a perfectly executed plan. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> and, and faith building absolutely yeah. and it just it reaffirms your faith so much because yeah. you know and then it just makes you see and take notice and all the other little things and then you start looking well let me see if i can re- you know find some yeah. more moments that yeah. have happened and then yeah. when you start realizing you're like whoa yeah you know and it's just it's a great thing to see and that's what i love um, about your music too because you incorporate that huh. and that's why i think i, I love the song so everywhere true. so much yeah. is, is to me that's what it is it's just mm-hmm. god is everywhere and yep. his blessings are everywhere you just have to look yep amen you know? those who have eyes to see yeah absolutely <laughs> i love him you're so fun you're so much fun to talk to and you're so real and i love that you're not afraid to be who you are yeah yeah i mean I, sometimes i'm afraid of who i am but um but i i'm i'm okay with just sharing that yeah. and, and sharing where i'm at at, at any given moment so right well, yeah. because you never know who you're going to help. I hope way. that uh, my, my struggles or my doubts mm-hmm. or my fears or ups and downs uh, or heights and, and victories and mm-hmm. where God has really come through and proven himself. And mm-hmm. I hope that the way that that would come out in music or in interviews, right. that people would be able to see it and recognize that there's a creator who loves them and, mm-hmm. and has proved it at the expense of himself. Absolutely. And um, I, I just really hope um, many 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 people see that message and know that it's not just some fairy tale right. that gets people through the night uh, it is our hope and absolutely. our only hope so uh, absolutely uh, you know and and I you I couldn't say it any better I mean well, you're, you're definitely you're dead on with that and and I, I really do feel artists like you who take the time and take the effort to be true and to mm-hmm. be real to who you are, true to who you are, and, and spread that message. Hmm. You never know who's listening that maybe was on the fence or questioning uh-huh. or doubting themselves, and they think, you know what? I need to give this a shot. I need to believe. I need to, I need to, to feel, and Amen. you know, and it gives them hope. And yeah. and I and I love that. And Great. and I love that you're, you're just not afraid to give that message because I know that there are so many who are, yeah. and you know, and in this crazy world, people. You know, artists I've seen, they feel like they can't be themselves on their mm-hmm. social media mm-hmm. because they're afraid of getting backlash because they believe a certain way or they have yeah. a certain view. And and I just and I love that you you just you're like, nope, this is who I am. Yeah. This is what I believe. And this is what's out there. And yeah. you, man, your fans are eating it up, too. Cool. You know, so many I've heard so many positive things. And you have some fans that are coming out this week that I know have messaged me uh-huh. that they're coming out and they can't wait to see you. So I'm uh-huh. super excited for that. Too. Yeah, that's great. I mean, I think that I'm I probably went through through a little period of time where I was a little preachy mm-hmm. um, and I think I've had to learn um, n- not that I, I would ever be ashamed mm-hmm. of, of the things that I'm saying but I think I, I might have beat people over the head with some of it for a while uh, and I think I've had to learn some hard mm-hmm. lessons but I, I, I want what I say mm-hmm. to be not anything to make me feel better about myself right. I, I want it to be a genuine reaching out um, and recognizing that there's there's people that are dying inside I yeah. mean, uh, and I have felt uh, immense amount of darkness in my own life that that didn't seem possible to get through right. uh, and there has only been one remedy 
in my life and recognizing that there are people uh, mm-hmm. that go down that path I, I don't want to uh, I don't want to be silent for, for that reason right so. and and that is so powerful and, and I love that because you know for me you know there's a lot of people who grow up with no examples mm-hmm. they don't grow up in a household that has taught them the love of Jesus Christ, the love of God. And so for me, I didn't really have a lot of that. And so I leaned towards music a lot for therapy. So when someone who leans towards music can then find your message in there and then they they dive a little deeper and he's onto something. And you know, it really is uplifting in so many ways. And I think it's just so important for so many out there who are watching and listening to know that, you know what, it is out there. It's very real and it is okay. I yeah. want everybody to know that I'm very fallible with my words. Uh, but what I'm attempting to point to, uh, he cannot lie. Uh, and he is not fallible. Uh, so don't ever put your trust in my music, but uh, but just look to where I'm trying to point. Yes, yeah, you're, you're pointing the way. Go research, go find it. It's there. Believe me, it's there. And you're going to find it for yourself if you want to. So that, totally. that's great and and I have to tell you too back back to your beautiful family because God's blessing yeah. oh my gosh on you has been it's so incredible to see your announcement pictures for for Emily. your daughter oh the little overalls that I can't get Emily's over that idea. Emily I love you that made my whole day I was showing it to everybody I showed it to Mary Sarah I was doing an interview with Mary Sarah I was like oh my gosh did you see these pictures and she was like what no and like right after the interview or even during the interview I don't even remember we just busted out pictures of you guys wow. because it was so cute and so sweet and just to see the love within your family is just so amazing and wow. I just have to thank you for that because you're just all around uplifting and, and somebody I love to see and I'm rooting for all the time because you just you really have a light about you that I think this world needs and, and this world has been very dark in in late and and I really think that your light is something we all need and and I just want to thank you personally for that and on behalf of the magazine and everybody watching well, I want to say the same about you. Uh, walking in this morning, um, it's, it was a somewhat discouraging morning for me. I mean, I'm a human, and, and my emotions go up and down, but uh, hearing your faith and seeing your faith has encouraged me today. So Aww, thank you thank for that. You. I've never actually heard that before, so thank you. <laughs> no, I just just keep, don't ever lose that. Don't ever lose him. Don't ever stop believing nope. in his faithfulness. Cause I, you know what? I can know he's stuck with me. <laughs> Good. Stuck with me like Good. glue because <laughs> with, without God, I would have had the roughest last two years have been yeah. been challenging and i know that without god i wouldn't have been able to get through yeah, it none of us so and and yeah. surrounding myself with people who who helped keep that strong Amen. was priceless to Amen. me awesome. you know yeah the constant awesome. reminders all right guys be reminded god loves you we love you mo loves you center stage loves you stay tuned for more and don't forget to follow mo on social media and Everywhere else at CMA Fest and everywhere you're going to be, just check them out. Stay tuned. You have some awesome shows coming up out of country that I don't get to go to. But if you're lucky enough, send us pictures. (laughs) Until next time, stay tuned.